Lord, help us to see you more clearly, to love you more dearly, to follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> Y'all, anyone here, anyone here a big, a big fan of Superman? <laughs> maybe you've watched, read the Superman comics, or maybe you watched the TV show growing up. Don't worry about the movies, the movies were less good, but the TV show, I was a big fan. And uh, Superman, remember he would do that thing when he was mild-mannered Clark Kent, the reporter, and, uh, and then disaster would strike, and he would find the nearest phone booth, run in the phone booth, and be like, take off his glasses. Terrible illustrated, he was a full Superman underneath. And there was nothing he couldn't do, right? There was no problem that he wasn't strong enough to solve. He could see everything that needed to be seen with his X-ray vision. He could fly to the sky and he could just, he could take care of every problem all by himself. Didn't need any help from anybody. He was perfect. I think that there have been times, I know, there are times in my life where I have tried to be Superman. I tried to trust just the strength within myself and know that if I just work hard enough, if I just work fast enough, if I just see enough, I will be able to take care of every problem all by myself. I don't need help from anybody. But you know what? I am not Superman. <laughs> I remember a time working at, um, as I told y'all, when I worked at uh, EMU and I had a case of some 500 some students at any given time that were that were at risk in need some had basic struggles with like food and, and secure housing let alone trying to stay in school and it was my job to make sure they had what they needed and I took that to mean it was my job and my job alone to make sure they had what they needed I had to be the one to, to do all the work and if I just worked hard enough if I just worked fast enough I could take care of them all but I couldn't do it all by myself. Anybody ever burn out trying to work too hard on something? Right? It happens. Likewise, uh, I work when I uh, served at the Cove in Waco. If I tell you all about this, working at the Cove in Waco, it's a youth homelessness mission. Um, where again, you know, we were working with the chronically homeless youth in Waco, Texas, trying to make sure that they had secure housing and sustainability, and. Try as I might, it didn't matter how hard I was going to work all by myself. I couldn't alone take care of all the needs of everybody. I was trying too hard to be Superman to do it myself. Oftentimes thought even maybe asking for help was a sign that I couldn't do the job. It was too weak, right? It's humbling that sometimes you need to be able to ask for help to trust in someone else to help meet the needs with you. I bring this up because when I hear our gospel story for today about the Beatitudes, that's the, that's the lens I see the Beatitudes in. Now Jesus is going and he's talking to, he's talking to his disciples and, and some of the learned Pharisees and the wisest people around, gathering around him. These are people who probably think they can do it all alone too. And Jesus is doing something in this story. He's, he's turning it on, their, on its head. That's what he does in the Gospel of Luke, right? In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus always takes their expectations and flips them upside down on them. And he says to them, you think that you're good because you're rich? Well, you're in trouble. You think you're good because you're, you're hungry and you're full? You think you can do this all by yourself? You're in trouble. Because you know what? Blessed are the hungry. Blessed are the poor. Blessed are those who are persecuted and oppressed. You know why? Because those are the ones who get it. Those are the ones who get how much they need God's help. If you're full and you're rich and you're powerful, if you're on the inside club, you may have convinced yourself you don't need God's help. And you're going to be in trouble. Because you are not Superman. But if you're poor and if you're oppressed and if you're weak and hungry, then you know it. You feel the need for God to come into your life and help you. And you feel the need for the people around you to gather around you and help you. And we so desperately need that in this world. I need to be able to uh, go to EMU or at the Cove or, or in the church. We desperately need it in the church, right? If we 
we try to go it alone and fix all of our problems all by ourselves and say, I'm strong enough, I'm fast enough, I can see enough to do it all by myself, we will fall short. But if we work together as a community, and we trust in God together, together as a community, <laughs> then we can accomplish great things. That's what Jeremiah is talking about in our Old Testament reading today as well. Look at Jeremiah. What is, what is Jeremiah talking? He's talking to the people who have been exiled in Babylon, right? The, the, the loyal, faithful people of God who were in exile in the Babylonian Empire, and they must have been thinking to themselves, how can we get out of this mess? How can we get back to our homes? And what Jeremiah is reminding them is, you're not going to be able to do it alone. If you're trying to figure out how to get out of this exile all by yourself, if you're trusting in just, as he says, the strength of your own flesh, it will fall short. But if you, as the people of God, you trust in each other, and you work together and you trust in your God, your God will see you to your home. It's the Beatitudes. And so that's what I hope for us. What I hope for us as a church, as a people, as a city, <laughs> as a community of God's human beings to trust in God and each other. Because as long as you and I, as long as we try to be Superman and, and trust in the strength of our own flesh and bones, we will always be limited by the power of what's within our own flesh and bones. But if we together trust in the power of God, that we would only be limited by the power in the, in the flesh and bones of God. And that power, you know, that power is unlimited. Thanks be to God. Amen.